Hey guys, this is Dora, that yarning zebra, and I am telling you, I am loving this border more than the afghan itself. I cannot uh, get over the uniqueness adding this border to the afghan has created um this is a commissioned work the sweet little girl who is getting this afghan has a room um that is decorated like the trolls movie yes uh she said she has a poppy room so I am ecstatic that these are the colors um, of her bedroom and she did not pick these colors. I sort of just decided um, to use my Burnett Pop and to make this um, afghan for the sweet sweet baby now i want to show you a how this border is turning out um i i added in the pink um this is the back side of the border and what it looks like but i am absolutely ecstatic over um, the border and how it is turning out um, bless its heart she came over today well actually it was yesterday because it is <clears throat> it's two something in the morning and I'm still up working on this because I want to have it ready to give her when she um, asks for it. <laughs> is my is my blanket ready? Bless its heart. I want to be able to say yes, my love. It is ready, and I am just having a blast adding this like slip stitch around this border I mean I cannot even uh, let me pull this up here yeah I lost my band there it is I'll show you what I'm using this is baby B sweet delight chunky infant teal um, this did come in this year's special deal 40 per 80% acrylic 20% polyamide so sweet delight chunky baby B and um, yep there is a pattern on the back but I am just in love with this um, and how it is turning out and Yes, there will be a row of purple right here. Um, but I wanted to get my teal done first. And it's just been a very simple um, go around the shell border. Just going into the top two loops. That's all there is to it and it's moving pretty fast I'm almost done but I am absolutely in love with how this is turning out um, yes I did not sit down and think this out as a pattern I 
just started going around this border at the top and decided oh my that is gorgeous and I'm just going to finish going around the border and have it done. Let me get this little knot here. Yeah. And have it done, washed, and uh, ready for the sweet baby. And she, um, what in the world? Excuse me while I try to figure that out. Oh, and I see now. Good. Let's get it down in here. Pick that up. Come through. There we go. This is moving fast. I um, am very impressed by the way it looks. No, I have never done this um, before on a border. So this is a new thing. But I am absolutely ecstatic and impressed by the way it looks on both sides. Yes. There we go. So, thanks for hanging out with me for this little um, design deal that I am doing. And... Um, just let me know in the comments what you think about this little uh, color theme going on and um, the pattern itself is oh this pattern here this part is um, double cluster V stitch Yes, there's two clusters. It's a double cluster V stitch. There we go. Absolutely loving it. Um, I may end up, well, let me straighten this up. I may end up doing a uh, tutorial on the whole thing, but um, there's a lot of things happening. I have the good and bad days, so this has been a really good day. I am tickled um, that I was able to be productive and I'm being productive all the way into the morning. It's 2.29 here. Oh my goodness, in the morning. And I am on a I'm in a row, as as we call it. I'm on a row. I don't want to stop. This is so beautiful. I, I am so loving it. So, yep. I am loving it. Just going on around this border and having a wonderful poppy time absolutely so that's what it's turning out like and this was just the same kind of um, slip stitch all the way through and what you're doing if you're wondering where we are with this just put your hook in grab that work in yarn and lock it in I mean, it's just very simple. Let me go down here. And back up here. Just keep going all the way around the border. Absolutely love it. Okay. Thanks for watching. God bless. This is Dora that Yarn and Zebra signing out.